Hey guys, welcome to Learner Logic. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard that loads faster or how to make your dashboard load faster by using a base search. So guys, uh, a dashboard can contain several panels which will run on different kind of uh, queries as per the requirement. As in this dashboard, there are 16 different panels which are running at the same time. So uh, if you create such a panel, it will take a lot of time if you create it by um, regular method without using any kind of technique. Let's see what all things happen that slows down a dashboard. Let's refresh this dashboard. So the first thing we can see is search is waiting for input on each and every panel. This is because this will take a long time in this case because each and every panel now needs to receive the tokens from the above um, timer or the above uh, drop down which I have used in all these panels. This is the first thing that slows down our dashboard. Now the second thing each panel is running separately and is gathering a lot of data on a separate basis. Now this thing again slows down and also creates non-uniformity as we can see as we will see that the third disadvantage not to use a base search is that uh, the see the first row has completed but the rest of the two are still incomplete these kind of things don't give a good impression and as, as you can see the fourth uh, the fourth disadvantage is that waiting for queue job to start because all the jobs are uh, you know lined up in a queue and one by one things happen this doesn't happen in the case of base search. So we can see there are five disadvantages of using a regular dashboard in in such cases where a lot of panels are involved. If we uh, if we can see the panels are also getting updated without any sequence like now the tar and wget have been uploaded but gzip is still in the queue. This gives a bad and you know unprofessional influence or the impression over the client. Now this was a slow dashboard which we usually make and now let's come to a fast one. So in this dashboard I have made use of base search and uh, have edited all these panels as per the requirement to uh, get the base search working. Let's refresh it. Now over here each and every is uh, panel is waiting for an input but this will be quicker because once the base search receives an input all of this all of the inputs will be passed to these panels as you can see all the panels have run simultaneously and the results came at once this is the power of uh, base search and it really you know really saves a lot of time and um, search and you know makes the CPU load lesser now let's see what is done in this fast one which is different from the previous so what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to the slow dashboard and I will edit it uh, so that we can understand what how we need to edit a dashboard to use a page search in Splunk uh, we can simply add a panel but before that I want to show you what Splunk query I have been using so over here index is equal to Linux host com which is a command is a star host is getting a token and success is yes now all these four fields have the same value throughout all those panel in all those panel these four are the same as you can see in this one also all these four fields are same so I will be using this much in a base search so let's copy this much yeah I have copied it and I'm going to now create a new panel and it can be any panel let's make it an event panel and I'll paste this search string over here which we have taken from there now one more thing to notice is that the time picker which we are using in this base search panel will be applied to all the panels which are dependent on this one. So as we can see a new panel has been added to the dashboard. This panel is at the bottom of all the uh, at the bottom of the dashboard. 
now whatever search is created over here and the results which are posted over here are passed to all the panels this is the basic concept let's go to source in splunk and see what are we do need to uh, you know edit in the xml code of splunk to get it done so i go to the bottom where we can see our row or the panel what i'm going to do is cut and paste this row to the topmost uh, in the topmost uh, level so that i can make you understand how it's going to edit you can keep it here only there is no issue but just in order to make a better understanding i'm going to cut paste and to the top of the dashboard so let's scroll up okay now this is my first panel no no not over here okay yeah over here we can paste it now uh, as we can see our title base search panel so whatever goes on this panel will be sent to all the other panels for that we need to create a search id so for that in the search tag we are going to use base uh, id is equal to base search we can write any word but i am using base search with s capital also we need to hide this panel so i'm going to write depends and give a token which will never work so i'm just writing anything never show this panel and then double quotes now now comes the next thing which is to edit the panels so i have told you guys uh, the panel should be uh, should be following the time range of the above page search and this particular id will be used in the search tag over here now what i'm going to do is write bse base is equal to then our id page search so in splunk we can simply pass the variables like that now whatever is there in base search can be removed from here and instead of that a command is required to be written so i am using search command this is a major requirement that every statement or every query used in the depending panel or the post process panel in the splunk should have a command in the starting again i am editing the second panel i'll remove it and write search there is no need to add pipe like that one by one you can edit all the panels and remember guys these all panels are set to global as a time range if you are giving a time range you need to remove it because it will follow whatever the time range is of the base search and like that one by one you can edit the entire panel i'm not going to edit it it will take a lot of time because there are 16 panels so just save it once you are done with it and your panel will look like this so uh, thank you guys for watching this video hope that uh, you can make some use of it if you have any doubt or query you can post it in the comments moreover if you have any suggestions for spunk videos please post it uh, also you can check my playlist for more spunk tutorials thank you till next time